G'day everybody, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing the France Delivery Event, yay! We're doing another video and I have two partners in crime with me today. I've got Rob and I've got Drew. G'day guys! G'day, how are you doing? Now we've all managed to get the same job, going to the same destination on multiplayer. It's really cool. This one's a really, really short one. I thought this would be like, a, you know, really quick. We can go from Luxembourg over to Metz. You know, that's like little little area there, and hopefully that'll count. I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, because all the other ones have been quite big. But this one here is just a little short one. A little short one there. Be really, really quick. Really quick. So, are you guys ready to go? You all ready? Yep. You can be our leader, then Drew, and then me. All right. I'll get moving then. Rob, Rob likes that, that back end, don't he? He'll, oh. <laughs> you like the back door, do you, Rob? <laughs> We're not, we won't go there, Rob. No Rob's. Comment, no. no comment. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that, says Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Drew brought it up. <laughs> Somebody had to. Somebody had to. Oh, right, okay. So this is this should be really easy this one should be pretty quick just grab the load drive to where we got to go and drop it off and and there we go done and we got a heavy cargo as well got my indicator stuck on sorry drew i just leaked indicator fluid all over you I'm doing it too, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, for those of you that don't know, this is the... It's for Euro Trucks. And it's an event that they're doing at the moment where you need to deliver or take to... So take from or take to France from 10 different countries, 10 different loads. So, Sorry, Rob, I missed the turn then. Did you miss the turn? So, it's relatively simple, but some people seem to be having a bit of problem with it, so very interesting. I stuffed up my first two because I was trying to uh, game the system, but doesn't always work. Bit of over rev there. You got your beacons on, boys? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Rob's got his high beam on. Should have split that. There we go. Oh, right, thanks. Now I'm stuck. Are you <laughs> stuck? How did you get stuck? If this goes down, I'm in an automatic. Oh, oh, right. Are you able to get up? Not yet. Oh, sorry, Drew. <laughs> Blame that on me. That's all right. You can back back a bit, um, Drew. If you need to. Let me let me pop the brake no, on. Just changing key box. Just changing key boxes over. Let me let me quickly jump back there. Fly back and. Whoop! Where are we? There we go. Let's have a look at what you're doing. Oh 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 oh! There you go. Wow, that's you got the trailer brake on or something, Drew? No, I put the trailer brake on. Trailer brake on. Then I released it. There you go. It's all good now. Rob's having no problems getting up there.
Oh, 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 trailer brake, Rob. <laughs> what are you doing? You got backwards. No, what I do with that, with that, put, put your spacebar on. Oh, Rob's come backwards. <laughs> You want to put your space, hit your, use your space bar, then... Oh no! Oh. That's one way of doing it, Rob. Right <laughs> That's one way of doing it. Jackknife the trailer so it, it stops you from rolling back and then, um, then start. That, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, I'll put my trailer brake yeah, off. That's it. That's if, that's if we can get up the hill, though. back up the hill. That's a bit of fun, that one, that. Yeah, it was. That's a li little bit of fun no, for our trip. You that get stuck. <laughs> not today. Not today, I'm afraid. No, no, no seems but no. I'll have a change that at least to be and get stuck instead. I uh, do admit, though, I didn't split. I should have split as we were going up that hill. I didn't. And also, I should have waited at the bottom, bottom till you've gone, and then, then come up behind. Or, or giving me a little bit of space. But uh, yeah, it, it, that yeah, is. Yeah. Probably waiting at the bottom wouldn't have hurt, yeah. It's a rest area. Do you guys need to sleep? No, not yet. <laughs> Rob's asleep at the wheel. <laughs> oh, that would be that. No fuel. No, is there anything, I got fuel. Is there anything we need to talk about while you were doing this video? You know? uh, I'm just trying to think. Um, there was some. Was there some SES news or something that popped up? They did and talk that, about, about Italy architecture. Italy architecture. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't quite read that yet. So, well, there is a new article there on Italy architecture. They're probably going on about how. Uh, when they're um, when they're making it, you know how much fun they have making it and stuff like that. More than likely, that's generally what they talk about when they're talking about prefabs and that. How how nice the prefabs look and how much detail's gone into it. Which I have to admit, though, the prefabs that they do do have a lot of detail. So they, they do put that extra bit of effort in there when they're making them. I was always curious though, when they make the prefabs, do they actually buy the prefabs or do they make them themselves? I, I reckon they'd buy them, to be honest. Or do they take photos of the places where they want to go to? Well, I know I know they do use Google Maps a lot for reference. Yeah. Because they don't really need to go anywhere; they just sit on their computer and, and Google it and say, "This is what we're going to do. This is what we need models of." Yeah. All right, turning here, guys. I don't know if they'd have to. I don't, I don't know. Not sure. But also another thing I mean, is is I that Google I reckon Google Maps. And another thing is is that there's always models out there, so people have done models before. 
So, and they can use those as reference as well. <coughs> right, we're at our destination already. That was quick. It's like a hop, skip, and a jump, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, yeah, that, I, I don't know, that might be hard, who knows. Posped, no, this one shouldn't be too bad. See, there's not as bad, as well as backing up as what it used to be. It's gone a lot better on it. Practice. Taking your time too, one of the things that uh, I've learnt is taking your time works really well. What selection did you choose? Uh, I went the hardest one of course. Yeah, I have too. Hang on, I think my truck, there we go. Alright, I'm going to have to back it up most of the way. Now, as an extra added trick, I'm trying to back it up now while staying in the cab using the mirrors. I don't know how many people do that in game, but that's something that I'm trying to do. And it doesn't matter how fast you go, as long as you get it done good. There we go, that's where I want to go. And these trailers, the turning of the trailers is tricky. I reckon. Keeping an eye on both mirrors. And it's dark, that makes it hard. Oops, did I, what did I hit? Ah, oh, you know what? It turned, I didn't see that. Did you see it turn? I didn't see it turn. It turned. At the last second. All right, try that again. There we go. There we go. See? Trying to do it with inside the truck like you really will in, in real life. There's an excellent... I might try it myself. Yeah, give it a go. We'll, I'll, um, we'll have a watch. Let's go back out and watch Drew have a go. I'll get out of your road so you can... Uh, so you can do it. Give it a whirl, Drew. It does take a couple of goes to, uh, at the first time, you may need to go uh, on the outside eventually. But um, you're going towards the fence, Drew. Whoops. Can you still see my trailer in the road, or? It's tricky, isn't it? It's tricky. Now you're going towards the fence.
Almost there, Drew. You can do it. Oh. Oh. Did he give it to you? Yeah. Oh, very good. Good job. And are you going to give it a go too? No. There's Tech Man. Some guy Tech Man's joined up as well. G'day Tech Man. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. What's up? I just cheated his way. We'll type in. Hang on. I'll, I'll type in chat. How do you type again? I keep forgetting how to type. What's type X? No. Y. 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 Here we go. So, oh, you're not going to give it a go, Rob? No, nah, I'm not confident enough. Oh, okay. Well, that, that's all right, mate. No worries. Well, he um... Want to be, he doesn't want to be embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't want to be embarrassed. Well, I thought you yeah, did a good job, Drew. I, I thought you did a good job backing that up. That was great. I mean, if you stayed inside inside the truck and you backed that up, that was a good job. It is staying inside the car. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Because um, in real life, you can't get outside of the cab, can you, and, and have a look down. So no, no. you try and do it inside the cab. I have to admit, though, the mirrors seem a bit different in real life than what they are in, in the game. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, are, yeah. So, um, yeah, it gets, it gets a bit tricky there. I think it's a little bit, looks a little bit further back than what it, than what it is. So, well... There we go. So uh, that's a very small run today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's little run. Um, we'll have to do some more, guys, I think. We'll have to do some more and see what we can come up with. But uh, look, guys, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.